Hello everyone, welcome back to Best Kidney Diet. Hello, hello, welcome back. Again, this is Hazel and I have been a stage 4 CKD patient for the last 13 years. Welcome to another video. Today we have another Q&A. Make sure to stay tuned and watch till the end because we have few interesting and very important questions that everyone should know. Question number one, please do a video on lowering proteinuria. So here are some ways to reduce protein in the urine. Uh, these are possible treatments that one can do to lower the protein in the urine. Top on the list is, of course, changes to your diet. I believe that any good doctor will say, make some adjustments to your diet, whether you have diabetes, kidney disease, high blood pressure, etc. I have a problem with proteinuria. My kidneys leaked protein into my urine as much as possible i want to focus on a plant-based diet so that's one of the changes that i did being that i have this problem the second one is weight loss of course if you change your diet weight loss comes next i know some of you worry about losing weight after doing a plant-based diet but this actually manage conditions that impair kidney function. So if you are worried about losing weight or have lost weight because you have changed your diet into plant-based, don't worry about it because this may help you manage some of the underlying conditions. This may actually help you protect your kidneys from further damages. The third one is ask your doctor for high blood pressure medications or your doctor may actually have prescribed you one already. In my case, I take 50 milligrams of losartan. I've said that before to help control protein in my urine. So if I look at the history of the protein in my urine, it goes from 100 to 300 and goes back to 100. It depends on the uh, milligrams that I have been taking. There were times when I was taking 75 milligrams and the protein went down to 100 um and so on and so forth so ask your doctor or the, your doctor will tell you if you need a high blood pressure medication also if you are diabetic your doctor may prescribe medication or insulin to control high blood pressure as well finally this is the worst case scenario hemodialysis treatment if you're an end-stage renal failure patient to manage high blood pressure and fluid. So those are five ways on how to reduce the protein in your urine. You need to change your diet. You need to lose weight. You need to ask your doctor about high blood pressure medication or diabetes uh, medications. And of course, if you are ESRD, hemodialysis, that's one of the ways to manage high blood pressure and uh, fluid in the body. So another important thing that uh, you have to find out also if you have protein in your urine is to find out first what's causing the proteinuria. Is it high blood pressure? Is it diabetes? Is it preeclampsia? And uh, is it kidney disease? So in my case, I have protein in my urine because obviously I have a kidney disease and of course I also have a history of preeclampsia. I've mentioned that in the history of my condition and of course I do, I do have high blood pressure because of the kidney disease. Um, now question is, can drinking water treat proteinuria? No, it will not unless you are dehydrated drinking water will dilute urine but will not stop the cause of kidneys leaking protein if you drink a lot of water of course you're going to flush out all those protein in your body but it's not really treating the cause of why you have protein in your urine drinking water is a good way to help get rid of high protein in your body but it will not cure what's causing protein in your urine how do you know that you have protein in your urine it can be done through a simple test or a more complicated analysis but now that i know that i have protein in my urine because every time i pee i can see that my urine is foamy 
or it has bubbles. So if you notice your urine and it's foamy, it has bubbles, maybe you need to have that checked. You might want to see a doctor. The presence of uh, protein is a signal that not all is well with the kidney. Now, is the protein in the urine permanent or temporary? It could also be temporary, so you need to repeat the test. You may also need a 24-hour urine collection. If after a series of lab tests and the result is the same, it may be, just may be, some kind of kidney problems. For sure, this is where you probably need more tests. Question number two. Last week, my crea was 1.12. I did some diet, repeated the test, and it was 1.2. My BP is normal, urine is normal. I'm taking five milligrams of amlopidine. Do you think I have CKD? CKD, which stands for chronic kidney disease, is because it's a persisting condition for long period of time or constantly recurring. So in order to determine whether you have CKD, you need to do a constant test. It's a process that you have to do on a regular basis. In my case, I have CKD due to the many tests done over the years. I have blood tests every three months at least. And over the years, the lab results were consistent. It was seen on those results that there is in fact, a problem in my kidneys. There were a lot of abnormalities like my creatinine, my BUN, you've seen that in my renal function panel test results that I've shown in my old videos. There's also protein in my urine. These have been going on for more than 10 years. And that's when you have CKD. You can't rely purely from one to two lab tests. So my suggestion is for you to repeat your lab test every three months or it depends on your doctor's recommendation. So it's not like, okay, I, I took a test today and oh my gosh, my creatinine is so high and I, I did some diet and then next month you took the test and there's a slight difference and is this really CKD? No, you have to do it constantly. You should do tests regularly. Uh, like I said, in my case, I, I do it every three months so it's because it's a long, persistent condition. So those are our questions for today. I don't wanna make this video too long. I hope this is another helpful one. And um, thank you all for watching. And again, if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to follow my journey, make sure to subscribe and click that bell for notification for when I upload a new video. Again, let's continue to fight CKD and let's make it happen. Until next time, always remember, love your kidneys. Bye-bye.